Welcome to the inaugural edition of Cup Cadet Mythbusters. Today, <clears throat> we're going to focus on why you're supposed to use a roll pin instead of a bolt for longevity. Obviously it'll work, right? You can put a, you can put a bolt in, if something breaks and you need to finish, finish your task for the day, put a bolt in, be done with it, right? You should probably use a butter bolt. That's all this is, just a regular galvanized bolt by and by the pound. And that is 0.245. And the now this is a roll pin. I don't have a spiral pin with me. You see, it's got a chamfered nose. It's got a flat rear. There's a reason for that in a second. And you'll see that this is 0.255, and the casting is about two five three, something like that. I don't know how accurate these casters are. That's two point two five five. You'll see that a roll pin punch has a ball on the end. Just, there you go. You should always see that now. And that's so the ball goes inside and then the the shaft fits on there tight and it doesn't want to drift. So simple math by now you should be able to figure out simple math that, that I'm going to put this bolt through here and it's going to wiggle. And every time there's shock load on that drive shaft, you're going to get wiggle. But if I put the drive pin or the roll pin, again, this isn't a spiral pin. I would say get the spiral pins from McMaster Car. I just don't have any. Now I'm going to use a bolt here. I'm going to use a bolt for alignment. Hold it on the back side, running out of fingers. There we go. Now I know it's aligned and I can use my punch, my driver. Feels like, yep, that's what we'll go through on the back side. And now look, there is no wiggle. I'm moving the whole shaft in the vise. And that, my friends, is why you're supposed to use a spiral pin instead of a bolt.